Hi everyone, today I'm going to walk you through the brand new Affinity app, the all-in-one design tool that just launched and it is completely free. It's a powerful app for design, illustration, photo editing and layout, all without a subscription. Previously, Affinity was developed by Serif Europe, which made three separate apps, Affinity Photo, Affinity Designer and Affinity Publisher. These were the main competitors of Photoshop Illustrator in design by Adobe. In 2024, the design platform Canva acquired Serif and now, as of October 30, 2025, they have launched this new unified Affinity app, merging photo, editing, vector graphics and layout into one single tool. It's available now for Windows and Mac OS, with an iPad version coming soon. One of the things that it makes it stand out is that it's free forever for the core functionality, meaning you don't need any subscription to download and use it. You just go to Affinity Door Studio and download it. I will leave a link on the description. However, some advanced AI tools like background removal or generative fill require a Canva Pro plan, but everything else is included on the free version. So first, let's install the app. Go to Affinity Door Studio. You can find the link on the description. Click Get Affinity, then you need to sign up to download, to sign up on Canva, and then you choose if you'd like to download for macOS or Windows. In my case, I will go for download for macOS. Then I will skip the installing part and I will open the Affinity app. Now I am already logged in, but you need to log into your Canva account. And once you open it, you will see the welcome screen. So let's have a look now at what it can do. Let's start by creating a new document. I will click on this plus button here. Here we can change any of the settings, but I will keep them as they are for now with an A4 document and create the document. Here's the main workspace. On the left, you can see the tool panel. On the right, there are context and settings panel. And at the top is the main menu bar. Up here, these three icons are the heart of the Affinity app. Pixel mode, vector mode, and layout mode. These are called studios and they are defined how you work. If I click the three dots, you will see even more studios available, but these three are the main ones. Right now we're on the vector studio, but I can switch between them instantly, like that. And for me, that's a game changer because before you had to switch between three separate apps to edit photos, draw vector shapes and design page layouts. Now it's all here. So now that we are on Vector Studio, this studio is perfect for clean, scalable graphics like icons, logos or typography. So I can take the pen tool and create a simple shape. Then I can simply adjust the fill and the stroke color. So I will add a red for the fill, close. It already has a stroke color, but I can change it to something like blue. I can increase the stroke like this. You can create any shapes. You have here a lot of them ready. I can take a star and create a star. If I hold the shift, it will be perfect. I can also add gradients from here. Like this. I can edit it from up there. Can double click and change the color maybe to green like that we have the layers panel we have styles and effects i'm not going to go through them all now because i will make a new video of going through them one by one but something you can notice is that on the vector studio no matter how far we zoom in the shapes stay perfectly sharp like that. We can change this view by going to these icons here. So now we are on vector view, but we can go on pixel view. And now you can see the pixels. This is perfect to see the designs in actual size. And if you're going, for example, to print something, you will be able to see how it will be in actual size. Let's go back to vector. I will zoom out. And then we can switch to pixel studio. This is where we can do photo adjustments and effects. I will place a photo by going to File and then Place. I clicked and placed it. I can change the size. By the way, I don't have to have the Shift key clicked in order to keep the aspect ratio. 
if I click it, then it says the aspect ratio, but I will keep it with the correct one. Let's delete that shape and the one on the back. Then we can apply a live filter from here. We can try the glitch. There are many options here. I will go with a, with a shred. This is live. The software doesn't delay at all, so you can do this very easy. And don't wait for the computer to process the action. I can adjust the brightness and contrast. So I will go to adjustments and go to brightness and contrast. We can also take the brush tool and uh, select a different color. And then with a photo layer selected, we can paint on that. And then we can go to layout studio, which this one is great for posters, brochures or multi-page projects. Here you can add text frames, uh, image frames, there are graphics inside. Uh, on the left, you can see the master pages and the pages. You can So you can create master pages to have as a template for uh, each page. So here I can add, for example, uh, an image frame. And then if I drag inside the photo and leave it here, it would go into this frame. But the main thing is that because you're already in the same app, switching between the vector and pixel here is seamless inside the same document which I found it very cool. Also here one feature I really like is the ability to create a custom studio. So if I go to the three dots and go to create studio, we can see here that I can select a, a name. I can upload an, a different image for an icon or I can select one from here. I can change the color. You can also add a description here for where it is. Maybe some details about if it will be about photo editing specifically and I will click create and we have it here. But also we can change to the previous uh, studios and then go back to the new one. So when you're ready with the design, in order to export it, you can go to file, export, and then you can choose several uh, file formats. You can go with PNG or JPEG, you can choose the quality. You can even go for PDF or print, you can choose that, that one here, or if it will be digital so you can have uh, interactive links. You can also export it in uh, the Affinity Nave D format, which is AF, or even as PSD file, in order to be compatible with uh, other software. And then click export and select the location. So some other things to keep in mind is that there are some advanced AI tools but you need a Canva Pro subscription in order to use them. However, the main app is fully free. Also, according to Canva and Affinity, your work won't be used to train AI models because there was a big discussion around this issue the last years in design software. And also, if you already use the all separate Affinity apps, photo designer and publisher, and have purchased the licenses, you can still use them, but the new unified version is where future development is going. So that was a quick overview of the all new Affinity app that's now free for everyone. Try it out yourself and let me know in the comments what kind of Affinity tutorials you'd like to see next. Maybe a logo design, posters or preparing assets for animation probably. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.